Bus Show brought to you by Lang's Bus Lines. I'm, I'm Justine Turner and I'm here with my school bus show crew and uh, we're here in Grand Bend, Ontario. We're actually sitting on the premise of where all these little kids used to play and have their recess. We're at the school bus house, or schoolhouse restaurant rather, and that's at 81 Crescent, uh, 81 Crescent, that's the actual street. The schoolhouse was established in 1874 and we are, had the privilege to have a beautiful lunch. And this is episode uh, four, August uh, the 6th, down here at Grabbit, Ontario. Thank you to the owners, uh, Saskia Turner and uh, uh, her brother, Gus uh, Berkeys. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna introduce our school bus show crew, brought to you by Lang's Bus Lines. To my far right, we have LePay. We have Noor beside LePay. We got Ryan to my right. We got Victoria, and we have Michaela, and we have Mr. Kyle right in front of me, the uh, man in red, and we have Yazan. The lady in orange is Jenna S, and lady in red at the end is Jenna G. So today we're talking about health, right guys? Health. Yeah. Healthy, healthy living. All that stuff. Just to let you know, our lunch was superb at the schoolhouse restaurant this afternoon, wasn't it guys? Yeah. yeah. They, it was awesome. And they make their they make their food dyes fresh. Everything's all fresh. So the fries we had was, was fresh cut fries, that beautiful healthy burger. Fresh. Healthy. Uh, was was fresh made and you could really tell that it was delicious. So help. So I'm gonna uh, bring the uh, it over to Yazan right in front of me. That's right, Yazan. <laughs> yes, that's right, my man. And what do you want to tell us about health Ooh. here in Grand Bend, Ontario? Well, I think that people, anyone, should get at least 90 minutes of physical activity, minimum, for anyone, and they should eat healthy, and yeah, that's it. Minimum 90 minutes of physical, physical activity. activity. Awesome. I'm sorry, did you just read a book? <laughs> okay, because that's great, Yazan. Okay, Noor. You tell us about health. What's going about health, yeah, Brian? You're paying attention. School bus show brought to you by Legs Bus Lights. This is healthy eating, healthy living. Go on, Noor. Um, I think that we all need our fair share of veggies a day, so we all need to get some of that green stuff in our meal. <laughs> Do you really believe that? Green yes. You know, we, this show is all about what's happening in lives of youth today. And every month we come out, we choose a topic, right, Victoria? of what we're going to talk about. And we all decided to talk about healthy, healthy living, whether that's eating, okay. whatever the case may be. And I know Nora really is meaning that. Yeah. She loves her veggies, so she's, she's, she's passionate. <laughs> okay, Michaela, tell us about healthy living. Um, well, I agree with Nora that we should eat vegetables and eat in our food groups, like dairy and all meat and alternatives, and make sure you get a healthy serving each day. Healthy serving, so that's the Canadian food guy. And you can always get that at your school, your li local library. You post that on your fridge. Canadian food guide, you got it. Victoria, talk to us about healthy living, eating, whatever you want to talk about. Um, well, I think that everybody should be really focusing on their teeth and that you should brush them twice a day for two minutes every day because um, children in less fortunate countries don't get to have toothbrushes or dentists or anything else. So we're really um, fortunate, so I think we should all just pay attention. Absolutely. Thank you, Victoria. Victoria's right. You know, there are, there are um, countries in our world, the world that we live in, that people don't know how you know have the proper uh, tools to uh, brush their teeth. And it's very sad because when your teeth rot, you know what, it can make you very, very ill. So that's excellent. Thank you, Victoria. Okay, Jenna G. A far corner there, lady in red. What are you going to tell us about healthy eating or healthy living? I think everybody should um, eat healthy foods because if they don't eat, um, if they eat candy more than healthy foods, then um, they won't stay healthy. That's right. You won't stay healthy. You're absolutely right. You know, those Halloween candies are good, but you know, can't overdo it, right? Absolutely. Because candy doesn't have, as Michaela said, the uh, basic food nutrition that's in the uh, Cam's Food Guide. You know, it's good, but it's, it's you know what, we, we can't live off candy. Thank you. Jenna G. Okay, I'm going to go to Ryan, my, my man right beside me here to my right. So Ryan, tell me about healthy eating and healthy living. Can you tell the school bus show crew what you think of that? Um, I think a lot more people need to focus on their 
healthy living and lifestyles and uh, that a lot of parents need to get their children into sports at a lot younger of an age because there's a huge problem going on with obesity. And I'm not saying you don't have to go to the gym and work out all the time to be healthy. You can do stuff like playing sports like hockey or soccer and it's not just about hitting the weights for muscles, you know, it's also very good to get cardiovascular workouts in and it's very healthy for your heart so a lot more people need to focus on that. Exactly. Thank you, Ryan. You know what? Younger, younger. And cardiovascular, tell me something. For a person that I work out, no, I don't actually. <laughs> cardiovascular, what exactly is cardiovascular? Is that for your heart? Yeah. So what do you do for cardiovascular? Uh, you can bike, run, jog, or even like a little sprint intervals. Like, your body has like three different energy systems. There's lactic, alactic, and aerobic. And it's funny, even a lot of people who work out their cardiovascular system don't even do cardio right and it's not people try and go like really hard for as long as they can but you just want to go for a light jog or a decent pace go for as long as they can that's the best way to work. so I, I don't know but I know for me I need someone to help me and so go to like Ryan for example someone that you know really well um, you know your your parents and, and let them ask them ask them what to uh, they, you can do for uh, physical um, activity, so physical fitness. Thanks, Ryan, my man. You're awesome. Okay, Lepe, it's Lepe. What do you think about healthy eating and uh, healthy living? Uh, I think um, my opinion is everything starts from your body, so you need to take care of yourself before you can do every other thing you need to do to be healthy. And I think that involves like getting enough rest, you know, exercising, like you said, eat good eating and everything. But you need to take care of yourself first before you can the other things that make you even healthier. Lepe, thank you. And you know what? Lepe said something so key. It happens it's, it's inside of us, right? Uh, before we can do anything. And that means obviously, as Lepe said, eating and, um, and sleeping. But also to pray. Okay? You have to talk, you have to, talk to your spiritual, uh, spiritual self. That is a huge thing. I think that people are lacking. There's a lot of times that you'll go to the doctor and there's something wrong with you, so you get a pill. But you don't need a pill when you're sad. Now you may, you know, your sugar might be off. You might have, you know, you may be lacking certain greens. Uh, again, this can is food guide. But um, prayer is really important. Just, just that little quiet. I'm going to go to Jenna G. And I'm going to see, what does Jenna G. want to see change of health or living in this, this world? That's right. So Jenna S. Thank you very much. <laughs> Jenna S. Thank you, ladies, for correcting well, me. I get confused. Well, I think that you should um, start eating some veggies and healthy stuff, like all kind of veggies and all kind of stuff that is healthy. Um, and then after you're done eating a lot of, lot of, lot of healthy stuff, you can maybe have like a, a granola bar or something like that, or like a kind of a healthy treat. And I think you can, after you've done all those healthy things, you can have a little tiny treat that's um, have sugar in it. And you should exercise and all that stuff. Yay! <laughs> Very good! Granola! She said granola bar. That's fiber, right? We need that fiber. We need that fiber. That's awesome. Thank you, Jenna S. For <laughs> that beautiful, beautiful nice. insight. Good job. Good job. Okay, last but not least, my man in red, wise man Kyle. What healthy changes are for the world or living, Kyle, that you want to tell the School Bus Show, brought to you by Legs Bus Lights, down here in Grandville, Ontario, at the Schoolhouse Restaurant premise? Go ahead, Kyle. I'd like to see the waters being clean, because the waters we have in, like, Ontario and Canada, they're mostly dirty, but if you, like, go away on vacation or something, it's usually really clear. But the water behind us right now, I don't know if you can see it, but it's just completely green. <laughs> it looks like someone just put trash in the water, and that's pretty much all we do. That's right. Thank you. Bravo, Kyle. That's right. We you really have that. we have to look after our waters. We really do. Because you know what? Is it 80% of our bodies is, is uh, water? 75? I think it's 80. Don't correct me, Nor. Okay, so 80% of our bodies, 75%, um, is Half of our body, we're half our bodies of water, so you know what? Let's protect our, our bodies of water. And that's that's our little swamps and ponds and creeks, that's our lakes, you know, that's that's the seas, that's the oceans and our rivers. I wanna thank uh, Silence Jetty for being a videographer. I wanna thank Lang's Bus Lines. 
I want to thank the Schoolhouse Restaurant and having a beautiful lunch for us and having the time for us to come in and see their establishment and dine in their, in their gorgeous restaurant. I want to thank our co-sponsors, Rainbow Cinemas, Stuart Automotive Works, and uh, Dr. Tina Sinicolo, the chiropractor, who is the most awesome chiropractor in the city of London and surrounding area. I am Justine Turner, and I am proud to say I am the host of the School Bus Show! Show. Yeah. Okay? So we're going to the lake now, and we're going to go swimming, and uh, we will you see you next you month in September. The beach. We're going to the beach. But we're going to tell the viewers out there, Jenna, that we're going to have back to school episode. Yes, we're going to go next month. Yeah. We're going. We're going to school. <laughs> Yay! That's great, eh? But we're going to go to school on Saturday. We're going to be in a. We're going to be in a school room, and we're going to have a chalkboard, and we're going to have lots of fun. So, because I know you guys really enjoy that. So it's a back to school special, of course. That's me in September. So come and see us uh, on YouTube. That's justevents.com. Justevents with a Z. Schoolbusshow.tv. Schoolbusfastshow.com. You can see all the three episodes already, and you will be seeing us very soon. Thank you, George, our school bus driver, and Corey Golsack. You've been awesome, and Brianna for coming down to be our audience. Bye for now. Bye. 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 Show and that hopefully that we are influencing you to make a positive change.